Hey everybody, Melissa here. So today we're going to be looking at a new tool introduced by Microsoft that allows us to extract data from a picture and insert it directly into an Excel spreadsheet. Now this works with the PC and an iDevice, so I'm going to show you how to do it in both. And it's going to come in really handy the next time you're in a meeting and there's data that you need off of a PowerPoint presentation because you just take your iDevice, snap a picture, and the days of manually entering that data are over. I cannot wait to show you how this works, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with our PC. Now let's just say that we've attended a meeting and there was a PowerPoint presentation and we received this via email after it was over. And we have annual sales data and we want to get it over into Excel so we can do some data analytics. Now there's a couple of ways that we can do that. We can click on it to select it, right click, and save it as a picture. And it's going to save it as a ping and that is fine. Now in Excel, we're going to go to our data tab, from picture, picture from file, double click on our file, and over here it'll tell us it's analyzing our image and prepping our data. And that was fast. It did it before I even got it out. So now what we need to do is review some of our data. It's highlighted some of it because it's not 100% sure what it should be, so it wants us to review it. So if we click on review, You'll notice it says two items require review. The first one is cherries. We have the ability to change this or accept it. I'm going to go ahead and accept it. The same thing with pineapple. I'm going to accept it. And then if you notice, we've got a green check mark. No items require review. We're going to close it. And we're going to insert the data. We're going to get a warning that says you are responsible for validating the accuracy of all data. Now Excel does a pretty good job, actually a really good job, of extracting this data correctly, but it's something you still want to keep an eye on and make sure everything looks okay. So tell it to insert. And here we have our annual sales data. Now you can format it, do functions, formulas, or any kind of data analytics on it. Now the next thing we can do to get this data over into Excel is select it, right click, and just copy it over in Excel. We can go to our data tab from picture, picture from clipboard. We get our same analyzing and preparing, and we're going to go through the same review. We've got two items. I'm going to accept it and accept it. We're good to go. Close. Insert data. We get our warning. Insert. And here is our data. Now let's say that we're on a Zoom call or a WebEx and we want to get this data over into Excel, but we can't really click on it because we're not the presenter. So we can actually do a window screenshot or a snippet. So we're going to do window shift S and we're going to select it. Back over in Excel, we're going to go to data from picture, picture from clipboard. It's analyzing and we have some things to review. Cherries is correct. If you notice in this case, we have three. So let's see what else it wasn't confident about. Pineapple. And then it has a dollar amount. And those are good. No items require review. So we're going to close. Insert data. Get our warning. And there is our data. So what if our data comes to us in the form of a PDF? No problem. Let's do a window snippet. Window Shift S. Select it, back over in Excel, data, from picture, picture from clipboard, it's analyzing. We're going to review, and this time we have four items to review. Don't know what it did here, <laughs> but we're going to change this to apples. So just type it in, accept it, cherries is good, pineapple, and then it has a dollar amount, which this is correct. No items require review, close, insert data, we get our warning, and there's our data from a PDF. Now let's look at how this works with an iDevice. So I took a picture of the annual sales data that I want to get over into Excel. Now if I would rather do this on my PC, 
then I can upload this picture to my OneDrive or even email it to myself and then use the previous instructions to extract it that way. But in this case, I want to use my iPhone. So we're going to search for Excel and open it. Do a blank workbook. And in the bottom left, we're going to click to bring up our menus. If we do the three dots on the right hand side, we're going to click where it says Home and we're going to tell it to insert data from picture, select the picture. And if you see it's not fully covering the data, we want it to get the title. So we're going to pull it up just a little to make sure it gets the title. Then we're going to confirm. It's extracting the data. And if you notice, we have quite a bit of red on here because it's not quite as confident on the iPhone or an iDevice as it is your PC because the picture isn't quite as clear. But let's run through them real quick and see how it's done. That is correct. So we'll tell it to ignore it. That's correct. And I'm just going to go through the rest of these real quick. Okay, so it flagged all of those that it wasn't very confident about, but they were all actually correct. But just make sure that you run through them. Insert. And now our annual sales data is in Excel on our iPhones. You can go in and do any kind of formatting, functions, formula, or data analytics. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment if you have any questions, feedback, or ideas for future tutorials. And be sure to click that subscribe button before you leave. And don't forget to hop on out to my website, melcompton.com, if you need written instructions for this tutorial and so much more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.